I was going to preach how wonderful heaven was until I was interrupted and started preaching about what I know at the request. Preach what I know. It was, at, it was a request. It was a testimony. But there's a day of death coming outside the rapture. And the lost and the saved are going to die. And because I'm saved outside the rapture doesn't mean, you know, I'm not going to die. I'm still a sinner. And the wages of sin is death. But I know that when I die, I'll be absent from this body and present with the Lord as quick as a flash. Where I take my last breath, I will see Jesus. And Christians go to heaven, but in the eternal life, we go to a place called New Jerusalem. That's our heaven. And it's a place where God will wipe away our tears. Through the salvation of Jesus Christ, there will be a day that our last tear will be wiped by God. And there'll be no more sorrow through faith and belief in Jesus. Sorrow is when a loved one has died. We have great pain. We have misery, defeat, bring sorrow. Yet in heaven, New Jerusalem, there's no more sorrow, no more tears through faith and belief in Jesus. In heaven, and I mean heaven, New Jerusalem, there's no more death. We don't say goodbye to loved ones that are in heaven through the faith and belief in Jesus. We'll never close our eyes in heaven to death. We live forever in heaven through Jesus Christ. In heaven through Jesus Christ, there's no hospitals. There's no ambulances. There's no nurses. I mean, there'll be nurses and doctors saved, but we will not have need of their services. There'll be no first days, no accidents, no blood, no emergency room, no COVID-19, no face mask. No broken arms. No misery, no pain. There'll be pharmacists in heaven, but we don't need their services. No medications, no health insurance, no prescriptions. If you're to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and to be saved, saved from what? No pain, no misery, no suffering. You won't be rushed to the hospital. You won't get that phone call. They're in the hospital. Not through faith and belief in Jesus. And in heaven through Jesus Christ, everything we do will be right. Everything. Everything. Have you ever said something and you wish you never said it, but it's too late, it came out? That will never happen in heaven. 
We will never have to check what we're going to, because everything we do in heaven through Jesus Christ will be correct and right and holy. We'll be holy and righteous. There will be no sin, no wrong in heaven through Jesus Christ. Every thought will be pure. Every action will be without sin. And everything we do in heaven through Jesus will please the Father through Jesus Christ. Satan will not be in heaven. He'll be in a lake of fire with those that rejected Jesus. He's in heaven right now. And he goes to heaven right now. Don't be surprised until Revelation 19 don't be surprised if you die in Jesus Christ and end up in heaven. Don't be surprised to see Satan. He's in heaven. And we'll get to see in Revelation 12. Michael cast Satan and his angels out of heaven. We'll see that. All through faith and belief in Jesus. Everything is perfect in heaven. There'll be no tobacco or alcohol or drugs in heaven. There'll be no pollution, no litter. Through faith and belief in Jesus Christ. You'll be clean and pure and holy. I'll come back and get another one. I just can't get them all today. You're here a lot of the time, then, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. These remind me of kindergarten. What's a blessed day. And what's more important is in heaven through Jesus, it will be God the Father and God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. You won't hear the music that you hear in this earth in heaven. You won't hear the filthiness that we heard in heaven. We'll never hear words like, ouch. It hurts in heaven. We won't hear that no more. We won't hear the words, I hate you, in heaven. We won't have words of disgust and anguish and hurt feelings. Nobody will be offended in heaven. That'd be amazing. People get offended because of a plastic potato. There's no money in heaven. Won't need it. Everything's free. Heaven is beyond our recognition what we could even think about. And heaven is by believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. That's simple. And it's all free. cost Jesus for us to get to heaven by his blood are we washed and can you be washed I'll tell you what else is in heaven
we're gonna have a brand, perfect brand new body. A body that won't age, a body that won't break down, wrinkle, get gray. Some believe we're gonna have a body 30 or 33 years old. That's reasonable. Can't go to scriptures, but I mean, think about, think about being 30 or 33 years old again. But there is one thing in heaven. When we see Jesus, theorize the nail prints in the hands and feet of Jesus, and his pierced side are still there. The resurrected body of Jesus still had the scars in his hands and his feet. And in his side. You know Jesus Christ is scarred for eternity. Because of our skin. Because of our sins. And yet we will get a perfect body. If we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. We will get a perfect body in heaven. But Jesus still bears the mark in his body of sin. Our sin. There's no more time or clocks or calendars in heaven. Time in. Eternity is, there's no more time. It's it. I don't even know how to explain it. You can't say a thousand years in, in heaven because there is no time in heaven. I don't know how to explain that. I can't explain a body that doesn't break down. I am 53 years old and my body is suffering from sin. <clears throat> and one day, through Jesus Christ, I am going to get a brand new glorified body. And so will you if you put your faith and trust in Jesus. Now, despite what Baptists believe, I know this is against some Baptist belief, but we'll never hunger or thirst again in heaven. Let me tell you another thing. In heaven, there's no dogs. I'm sorry, no cats. They're unclean animals. Fluffy does not go to heaven. Spot can't be redeemed by the blood of Jesus. Don't save the whales. Save your soul through the blood of Jesus Christ. But we get a brand new body through Jesus Christ in heaven. There is a tree of life. And it never fades. It never dies. There is the water of life. And God the Father and God the Son and God the Holy Spirit are the purest light of heaven. We don't need the sun no more. There'll be no embarrassment. There's no more shame 
in heaven through Jesus Christ. There's no more nudity. We'll be wearing fine white linen. Fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. And forget about the harps. Only place about harps or some ain't some angels have harps, but that's tradition. Tradition is not Bible. When you see the angels, they don't have wings. They're not females. That's tradition. Tradition is not Bible. There'll be no dirt or dust in heaven. No cemeteries. No police stations. No jails. No rest records. No taxes. No property. No insurance. There's a lot of no's in heaven, but they're for our greatness of the Lord Jesus Christ. And there's a plenty of yes and good and righteous and holy things in heaven. If you're to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. Now salvation is not going to cure your cancer. Salvation is not going to stop you from dying. Salvation did not stop the diabetes in my body. Salvation did not stop the infection in my body. Now, God can heal. Then again, God may not heal. He'll save your soul. But you may have ailments. You may not. You may have health problems. You may not. But salvation is not going to heal you physically. I quit smoking in the late 1990s. I got COPD and emphysema. And I'll say, God, I'm saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. Heal my lungs. No, God ain't going to do it. He may or he may not. Now, salvation assurity is when I die, I'm going to be with Jesus. That's a sure. If you got cancer today, believing in the Lord Jesus Christ may not get rid of that cancer. I don't believe in faith healers, but I believe in a God that heals. There's a big difference. Last week I was in a wheelchair. Two weeks ago I was in the hospital. Three weeks ago I almost died. And by the glory of God, I'm here preaching the gospel. I won't ask for an amen. I know I won't get it. But the angels in heaven, God said amen. Romans chapter 10, verse about 14. You will not need to bathe in heaven. You will never stink. You don't need right guard, left guard in heaven through Jesus Christ. You'll be always clean and pure. There's no odor of stink in heaven. I can't even imagine what heaven will smell like. <laughs> to come to think about how wonderful it will be. There's the tree of life, and I don't know what kind of odor. There's no bathrooms in heaven. We will not have to relieve ourselves. There'll be no pollution of bathrooms. 
Even if we do eat in heaven, we won't have that function. We won't have stomach troubles. We won't have heartburn. We won't have heart attacks. We won't have diseases if we were to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and when we get to heaven. Now on this earth, well, I know many Christians are suffering. I know Christians are in the hospital. Salvation won't change your health condition but it'll change your destination where you go when you die. And you can know you're saved if you put your faith and trust in Jesus. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It's so pure and simple. God's not willing that any perish. It's not God that will cast you into hell. It's you rejecting God. God has done all he can to stop you from going to hell. It's you rejecting what God has done. And you've done the rejection with God sending a preacher with the Bible. You're not going to get this in most Sunday churches. Especially with COVID-19. And if you think every church and every preacher is saved, you've been, you've been fooled. I'm a born-again, Bible-believing, saved, old-time Methodist, Baptist, Christian. I'm here to tell you from every man in the pulpit is not saved. Every man in the pulpit is not of God. 2 Corinthians chapter 15. There are men and women in the pulpit. Shouldn't be women. But there are men and women that are pulpits that Paul said to the Corinthian church, they're of Satan. I ain't here to tell you Baptist. Or, I ain't here to tell you Catholic. I ain't here to tell you Charismatic. I ain't here to tell you Methodist. I'm here to tell you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. There are no Baptists in heaven. There are no Catholics in heaven. Those that are redeemed and washed by the blood of Jesus Christ called Christians. Not everybody that says they're a Christian is a Christian. Believe it. Start preaching the gospel. You'll find how many, oh, I'm a Christian and I don't think, uh, I'm a Christian, I don't, I'm a Christian, judge not. I'm a Christian, I don't think. Uh, yeah, see? <laughs> I met many Christians that stand in doubt of where they are and where they're going. But I can't judge, I don't know. I have been, today, oh, you're judging, you're judging. I don't know about your soul. Only one that knows about your soul is God, Satan, and you. God knows you're saved, the devil knows you're saved, and you know you're saved or not saved.